This future desert construction is eye-popping in its ambition, so it's not surprising that mysterious Blade Runner-style commercials for Neom have started to appear on your phone recently. A complex, bold, and highly ambitious undertaking and is most certainly not an easy one to deliver. Let's take a closer look at what this mirrored skyscraper in Saudi Arabia has to offer to the world. Welcome back to another episode of High Technology. If this is your first time in the channel, feel free to join the club as we unravel high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing and hitting the notification notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future. Join us as we examine this amazing future mega project which will surpass the building of any other mega metropolis anywhere in the world. The utopian city of Neom, which would be situated in the northwest of the Gulf nation next to the Red Sea, was first proposed by Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman back in 2017. The program came about as a result of Saudi Vision 2030, a strategy to lessen Saudi Arabia's reliance on oil, diversify its economy, and expand public service areas including tourism, healthcare, and education. The Octagon, Trojan, and Line will be the three primary sections of the enormous city of Neom according to the blueprint. A floating and industrial complex with a typical octagonal shape is the Neom Industrial City, commonly known as Oxygen. When finished, it will be the biggest in the world and act as a port for vessels traveling across the Red Sea. The tallest mountain range in Saudi Arabia is home to Trojina, the region's first significant outdoor skiing resort. At about 2,600 meters above sea level, it will be a brand new mountain tourism location. The Line, a smart linear metropolis that would serve as the infrastructure for the larger Neom Megapolis, is the third and most crucial component of Neon. You may now be wondering what the line actually is all about. For many years, engineers and architects have trouble even imagining the idea of this incredible mega city. However, on July 25 of this year, the Saudi prince revealed additional information and a montage of images showing various parts of this future city. The line, according to the statement, will span 100 miles in a remote area of desert and mountain environment and will be 1,640 feet high and 656 feet wide. This this long skyscraper will have a massive stunning mirrored glass exterior and be taller than the majority of the current structures in the world. The unusual utopian smart city is housed within it. It will have a 34 square kilometer construction area and house 9 million people. Artificial intelligence will help the line run solely on renewable energy without the need for any automobiles, roads, or carbon emissions. People will be able to travel from one end of the city to the other in under 20 minutes thanks to the high-speed rail system that connects sections of the line. This system is similar to the Hyperloop. Prince Mohammed claims that the design for this metropolis will go against the grain of traditional horizontal and flat towns and serve as a prototype for protecting the environment while enhancing human comfort and livability. The series will talk about the problems that people face in contemporary cities and highlight better ways to live. In keeping with the zero-gravity urbanism idea, the line is planned as a collection of distinctive communities that will be arranged in three directions of movement, up, down, or across. Residents will have access to all of their daily necessities within five-minute walk communities and the line will include retail and recreational destinations, educational institutions, and parks. The city will offer a wide range of amenities and artificial intelligence technology will be used to automate numerous functions saving time and effort. Digital Air, which offers free Wi-Fi to all city residents, will be available. The city will provide fair views and quick access to the nearby wilderness. Intelligent design will be enable a year-round moderate microclimate with natural ventilation inside the building. Additionally, the city is planning to use cloud seeding technologies to create man-made clouds that will increase rainfall beyond what is normally achievable in the desert. The city's energy and water resources will be entirely renewable, making the line entirely sustainable. In addition, the Saudi Arabian government will develop new sectors in Neom and spearhead the next phase of the energy revolution by creating green hydrogen. The city will also function independently from the current Saudi Arabian government structure, with its own labor and tax laws as well as an independent court system. More crucially, 40% of the planet will be reachable in under 6 hours at the center of major trade routes creating an environment that is conductive to thriving economies and societies. In 2017, Project Neom was first made public. Since then, planned flourishes like flying cars and robot servants have regularly aroused concerns. Despite this, economists and architects have tried doubting its practicality. But in spite of the doubt,
Sprouts Neom City's development officially started in 2019. The opening of Neom City was originally planned for 2025. However, complications have caused Neom's completion date to be postponed by an additional five years. The ambitious project is still on schedule, according to the Crown Prince. The Saudi government and the Saudi Arabian Public Investment Fund, a sovereign wealth fund shared by the prince and national and foreign investors, have committed $500 million to the project's initial phase. Once finished, the entire construction of the railway is expected to cost a staggering $1 trillion. The most extensive urban development project in modern times is being undertaken by Saudi Arabia, which raises certain questions. As previously said, the line is a component of Saudi Vision 2030, a rebranding strategy. With it, the country hopes to compete with its Gulf neighbors, like Dubai and Abu Dhabi, as a top vacation destination and restructure the kingdom's economy. Saudi Arabia is likewise experiencing a population growth, and many of its young people are looking for work. The area may create up to 380,000 new employment using NEOM. In 2030, Saudi Arabia's population could reach 50 million, with more than half of them being foreigners, up from its current population of little under 35 million. Assuming 100 million yearly visits by the end of the decade, it is anticipated the influx will inject billions of dollars into the regional economy. In order for Saudi Arabia to become the largest supplier of crude oil and a global economic powerhouse, the crown prince has claimed that the population boom is required. For these reasons, Neom is being created from the ground up, and the prince made his position very obvious by asking the daring question, why should we mimic conventional cities? Because it is so extravagant in scale and scope, analysts, economists, and architects are still skeptical if Saudi Arabia's vision for an urban utopia will be ever realized. Even those working on the project are uncertain. The prince reportedly told his advisors and planners that he wants Saudi Arabia to be as well known abroad as other countries in the region. However, because of the project's lavish character and its multiple manifestations over the past five years, many observers have questioned whether it can ever get off the ground. Due to its advantageous location on the Red Sea, through which roughly 13% of the world's trade passes and the fact that 40% of the world's population is accessible within a six-hour flight, Neom is positioned to potentially become a global gateway for international trade. What are your thoughts about this? Do you think this will revolutionize architecture in the near future? Or will this end up like any other big construction projects that will be forgotten and become a dream the world has ever hoped for? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Technology serving you the best and cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. Until then, see you.